All right, good morning. It is now 4.50 in the morning. Woke up at four, got all my stuff together. In the back there, had some Mountain Ops Ignite. I've been driving for the last about half an hour. We still have about, oh, an hour to go before we get to the spot where we can hike in. So we're gonna keep on driving in the dark and jam out to some music. All right, made it to our spot. It's just starting to get light. And uh, gonna get stuff on, packed up, and start hiking in. place I was wanting to go <clears throat> that looked pretty open wasn't as open as it looked on on X and Google Earth so there's an old burn a couple miles farther and it sounds like a good place so we'll be a little behind the sun will be up it's coming up right now start to get hot well warm and uh but we'll see. Might be a good place to scout for some elk for this fall. All right. Talk to a trapper. Who traps this area. He said there's wolves here. But. They have such a big territory that, you know, they could be here, they could be on the other side. So, we'll see. Also, on the drive here, just about had to cancel the wolf hunt and butcher up a elk that I almost hit. I might have got some footage of, of it after I slammed on the brakes and everything went flying in the car. So. That was fun. All right. Got a lot of walking. Sun's coming up. We're getting close to where we can go up. A draw. Look up that old burn, I think. Alright, made it to the burn. It's not thinned out as much as it uh, looked like from the aerial view, but there's a little ridge up here. We're gonna get up on the top and just see if we can glass this side here. I also heard some turkeys a while back, so April 15th is coming up. Might have to come back.
scare them away yet. I'd like to see one of those. Once I see it, then I'll do the call. This is so much clearer than the spotting scope that even on 20 zoom, I feel better using these. So I'm saving up for a Vortex spotting scope. But I don't pack it around anymore. It's just heavy and it's blurry. So it's hard to, you know, use it as it's supposed to be used. I don't know if you can see this, but I also got uh, Garmin inReach. I would highly advise anyone who's going on solo trips where there's no cell service to get one of those. It's a super cheap way to make sure that if anything happens, you know, you can get help, hopefully. Um, I haven't used it yet. That's it. Hopefully never have to, but it's good to always be prepared.
know they tend to kind of circle, you know, before they go in. So I keep checking behind me. Can't really see behind me, which is not good. But I'm staring down here, waiting for them to come out of this thick stuff. And a freaking coyote, like 20 yards away, jumps on this log. I turn, he sees me, turns off, jumps off, runs away. <sighs> Those were the two wolves that the trapper told me about. He said there was a pair, gray wolves, no colors. So, that's my first ever wolf in the wild. Two of them. That was awesome. That was pretty awesome. Alright, I want to show you guys where they came. They came right up here. Down. Down. All the way down. And then that coyote was came out right behind there. This tree. Right there. Up on that log. Boom. And then gone. Alright. Make it out of here. Might try and go down a little ways over there. Because they might have come down. Circled up behind me. Got wind of me and then took off that way. So. I won't try too hard, but see if I can find some tracks if there's any snow that's over there that they could have tracked in. See how close they got to me. If they did. Alright. We're out. That was me, right here. 20 yards. 20 yards. Right here. Check this out. Big old wolf print. Holy crap. Holy crap. These are fresh. These are. That wolf literally came right behind me. It's so bright out here. I need my sunglasses, but there's a car. Well, there you go. Tracks going this direction. Tracks going that direction. Oh, it's so bright out here looking at the sun. I need to get off the sun. I mean, snow. There's your proof though. I wasn't lying. There were two big gray wolves that came down and right behind me. Right behind me. Oh my goodness. <sighs> All right, the rifle's back in the pack. This hand free for the Glock, just in case. Super mucky. It was all nice and frozen when I got here. Now the sun came out, it's like, 50, 60 degrees, everything's melting. All that frozen ground, it's just mush. Makes it a little, a little slower going. All right, found where the turkeys hang out. Up on this hill here is where I heard him this morning when I was walking in. I heard it up, up, up over there. So, they must have come down through here during the late morning. So, log that away for April 15th if we come back here. Well, finally made it back to the car. And luckily I had some water in my Yeti. And that was the lifesaver. I was so thirsty. I'm going to get on the road. I'm gonna get me a big plate of Mexican food. Maybe two plates, I don't know, I'm so hungry. Uh, recap the hunt, uh, let's see. 
I'd say it was a success. That was the first time I've ever seen wolves in the wild. And I had two of them trotting straight at me from 500 yards. So that got my adrenaline going. That was fun. Um, lesson learned about by yourself. You don't have enough eyes. They're right behind me. Someone else would have been looking the other way. Might have had a wolf down today. But <laughs> live and learn. That's what this is about. Got some sweet footage of a woodpecker. That was pretty cool. Maybe next time. All right. Catch you guys later.